Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we've got a 2017 Yamaha SCR950 in the garage. Pretty cool bike. I didn't even know Yamaha produced this model. I've, my quick Googling, it's just a one year only kind of cafe racer, flat track racer kind of retro bike. Super cool. This guy's done a couple modifications, handlebars. I think he's kind of chopped the back a little bit somehow. Definitely doesn't look stock anyway. With the tail light, license plate, that sort of thing. Unfortunately, it joined me because the owner completely stripped out the oil drain plug threads. The bolt is stronger than the engine case, so the engine case lost and there's no longer threads in it. So I'm in the process of figuring out the best option how to fix that. I'll add a picture of what the drain hole looks like for everybody and stay tuned for the repair process. After waiting about, uh, oh, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks for a time cert tool, we're finally able to get Kraken on this two se 2017 Yamaha SCR950. It's Yamaha's scrambler. The owner had done an oil change and stripped the threads out of the drain plug. So needless to say that is not good, but I was able to get off Amazon, believe it or not, a repair kit made by TimeCert. They make all sorts of different sizes. This is an M14, here, M14 with a one and a half metric thread. There's different length inserts as well. Uh, this one was a little over nine millimeters, 9.4 if memory serves me right, um, which are these guys here. You can buy the inserts separate. I bought the whole kit because it comes with the proper size drill bit, chamfer drill bit, tap, and then insert tool and obviously instructions. I'm not going to go through a how-to of how I did it. There's a million of them out there on YouTube. But a quick run through. I just followed the directions and it worked perfectly. So step one, you drill out the old threads. You can put drill these drill bits and whatnot in a drill. I didn't. I just used my tap handle. Did it by hand. I'm going, just going into aluminum. So slow and steady to make sure it's nice and straight. Step two is to use the center bore tool, which is this guy here, and the little chamfer bit, and drill that down until you get to the little stop here. Basically stops cutting when you get there. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then you can use the center it's not really a center bore you can use the um, it's like a straightness guide for the tap and you slowly work the tap in and then yeah like that and then I cleaned it all up real good a little bit of brake clean I did use some grease on everything to try and catch as many aluminum shavings as I could. I did catch a ton, but there's a catch to this and you need to flush the system, which I'll get to at the end. So after you clean out the hole, after you finish tapping it, you'll inspect it, obviously make sure that it's super clean. And then you can just thread in by hand the insert, one of these guys, until you can't anymore. And then using a little oil on the insert tool, you finish threading it in. Again, I just did it by hand with my tap handle, kind of like they've got in the picture. 
until it gets tight and then you keep going and it makes new threads and it'll eventually loosen back up and you're done. One thing I thought that was interesting, it doesn't mention anything about Loctite or like a thread lock compound. Whether you add some, whether you don't, I'll leave that up to you. Um, so then, so after we did that, I made sure everything worked really good, and I just left the drain plug out and ran through in in small amounts, maybe a cup at a time, about a liter of oil, and as you can see, a ton of junk came out. So I suggest doing the same, otherwise you're going to run all that junk through your motor and wreck it. So definitely the new motor oil, whatever you got lying around, it'll work. I just happened to have a bunch of leftover of the same weight, so no harm done. I picked up from Yamaha brand new drain plug and crush washer because his fell out on the street somewhere when he was riding, long gone. So I'm gonna stick that in the bottom of the motor and then I forget exactly, 4.8 liters I wanna say, motor oil. The owner likes to use this Yamalube 1040. It's the weight that's called. So that's what I'm gonna do. Nice fill cap comes with a dipstick so super easy fill it up to get to the right amount when it's hot and away you go that wraps up the Yamaha scrambler project the fix we had to do just gonna button it up here off camera and go for a quick test ride thanks for watching if you enjoy videos like this please like and subscribe for more